G'day, Adam VK4GH said. It's Sunday, June 23, absolute glorious day up here in uh, Brisbane. Typical winter's day, blue skies, low 20 degrees. Perfect day for uh, experimenting on microwaves. So this is the new arrangement here. I've got a uh, surveyor's tripod. These are quite, um, quite affordable. They range from, uh, well, don't do what I did and go to Johnny Appleseed and pay $110 for them. They're uh, $96 at Bunnings, and you can buy them from online stores from around the $40, $50 price mark. They're very sturdy. Uh, one thing I have done is uh, just added a, a potting, a, a hanging basket chain across the three legs, just to prevent the uh, oh shit moment if the legs were to uh, spread apart. I've got uh, some tread plate on this, which I've uh, drilled and tapped a few holes into. Um, obviously it mounts the dish at one side, and this just screws directly onto the the uh, pan and tilt head. The uh, current 10 gig transverter system is in this box up here and it has a relatively short feed line of uh, 141 down to the feed. And on the, uh, the new equipment tray I'm going to put my 2.4 and 3.4 system. Not that I'm using that today but it has the Thunderbolt GPS unit inside that. So out of this unit I'm going to get the 10 megahertz and uh, that will reference lock the PLL inside the 10 gig unit. Power today is coming from a uh, 12 volt car battery. I'm totally over generators. Generally uh, unreliable and they're noisy. Just hook up the Thunderbolt or plug the GPS antenna into it. GPS antenna is just one of those little magnetic mount um, patch aerials. They're pretty uh, cheap. Only about $30 and they work really well. Once you hook it up it only takes a few minutes for the oscillator to warm up. VK4WR, VK4GHZ Portable. GHZ4WR, how copy? GHZ4WR, how copy? Yeah, good Alan, uh, all set up, ready to go. Listing on uh, 10.368.150. Roger, okay, I'll put a carrier up. Um, as you know, it's a bit hit and miss, so turn around and try and find me. Roger. Thank you, Doc. Now we're up here uh, a couple of months ago. Yeah, thanks for the five and nine, Alan. Uh, like I say, you're only four and one forty-one, uh, so that indicates I've got a, uh, a front end problem uh, at this end, over. Okay, Alan, well, uh, thanks for that. It uh, proves that the transmit side works and uh, obviously a little bit more work to do on the receive side uh, this end. Oh, oh. Make sure we're on a uh, direct path here. Seems to be about it. All right, I'll uh, I'll key up and let you optimise over. Yep, go. Okay. Now it's um, a really good t trick with the FT817 is if you plug a jack into the key. Um, an open, a, cl a, a closed circuit, uh, a plug into the 817 key, it'll go beep, 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 which is really handy. I've been meaning to do that. Hang on. Um, fumble fingers here. Carrier coming. And uh, frequency spot on too, by the way. Yeah, well, I've had the, uh, had it all manual out. It's easy loud. VK4 GHZ Portable, VK4 GHZ Portable, Mancutha. You're full scale Adam, I can't get you any louder. VK4 GHZ, VK4 GHZ, VK4 WR, VK4 WR, VK4 with Sticky Radio, over. Yeah, about the best I can get from you Alan is about a strength 8, but that's a substantial improvement over last time, uh, where I could uh, only just hear you. Uh, in hindsight, I... Um, 
I don't have the LNA in the front end of this thing either, which I, I think I had last time, so it's not a, a direct apples for apples comparison, but with the LNA you don't, you'd only be stronger. But um, certainly a good test and uh, I think an improvement was made. Yeah, Roger, uh, Adam. Just like a couple of, uh, couple of micro helicopters, gyrocopters or something flying over here. Uh, so uh, you might see them hitting, uh, you go right over the top of the house now. So uh, <laughs> you look out, you might see them uh, hitting your way. But uh, your uh, street signs are really loud. Uh, uh, and, uh, uh, I think uh, apples for apples, I'm in pretty much the same position as last time. You know, 50 metres or so. Uh, and to one side's not going to make any difference, brother. Yeah, very good. VK4WR, VK4GHZ Portable on uh, 10368.150. Dial on the 817 is uh, reading um, 0.75, so it's 250 hertz there somewhere. It's uh, probably a bit of, bit of both end. Um, I'm not GPS locked on the 817. I've never found that to be necessary. But um, it's so close it doesn't matter, over. Roger, roger. Okay, that's great. Uh, have you got 2.4? Do you want to have a go on that? No, I didn't bring the grid pack up with me, but uh, everything else is here. Roger. All right, I'll go around the corner down here and just see uh, how much stronger the, the beacon is. And that'll wrap up the uh, receiver testing. But it uh, looks like we've nailed it and uh, quite happy about that. Thanks for coming up, VK4WR. This is VK4GHZ Portable Mount Coother. Yeah, Roger. Uh, it's just a shame you're the only contact I've had on this band. I was uh, really looking forward to trying to work down on the border ranges. I thought that would have been a, uh, a good part for this. Oh, well, not to worry. We've got the activity day coming up uh, in about uh, five or six weeks. Yeah, Roger. Well, if Doug lets me uh, hang on to the gear for then, I'll, uh, I'll definitely be out. I might just go up to, uh, up to the camel mm. pumps at uh, Mount Crosby, I Ah, uh, you could be fighting for gear with someone else I know. All right, no worries. 7 3s, VK4WR, VK4GHZ. Yeah, Roger. Well, remember, position is 910. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> 7 3, VK4 with the radio. Well, quite happy with that improvement. Uh, one thing I did find the bias adjustment is fairly critical on the uh, XTK board. Uh, and for some reason that wasn't set properly. It was way, way out. So the sensitivity comes right up when you uh, set the bias correctly. So I'm going to go uh, around the corner here on Mount Cutha and uh, check it out on the VK4 IBB beacon at Murray. Well, here we are. We've just come down Mount Cutha a little bit uh, and I'm going to try and see how much uh, of an improvement I've got with the uh, Murray beacon across the other side of town. Now, did I mention what a fantastic day it is here? All you Melbournians, take note. This is a typical winter's day up here in sunny Queensland. There it is, it's almost eight kilohertz off. What's disappointing? I know the uh, transverter is working much better on receive, but um, I know I'm shooting, you know, I'm just skirting the edge of the CBD, so I'm not actually pointing into, uh, into anything substantial, but um, apart from being off frequency quite a bit, the beacon just doesn't get out well. It's, um, it's only a line of sight path, not more than 20 odd kilometres. Looks like that's about the best we're going to do. I've already done a, a tilt. Alright, look, that's all we can do today. Uh, one other thing I'm going to try is fitting uh, an LNA uh, to the front end of the uh, transverter. I know they, uh, they work reasonably well. So we'll come back up here a, another time and see how we go. This is Adam, VK4GHZ in sunny Queensland. See you next time.